Here's a little progress for my project. Um, this is the first uh, volt and amp meter module. Let me turn that down so it doesn't keep flickering. Um, <clears throat> um, I was wanting to run all the meters off of one power supply, but unfortunately that's not going to work. Um, I probably have to have one power supply per meter. That means the voltmeter is off one, the ammeter is off another, then the other voltmeter is off a third, the other ammeter is off a fourth. But because I tried running the volt and that meter off together, but they interfered and had problems. But um, so have a volt meter and a half meter running off separate power supplies right here this is going to be how it's going to be going to look and the panel of the um, power supply is going to be two sets of these you know there's going to be two meters like this one one and then there's going to be another one just like this so you know I have the voltage and set that up and I'm running it off this homemade power supply right here, which I have another video of. I mean, it's not perfectly accurate. I'll have to set it, but it's pretty close. It's actually very close. At least for this reading. It's going to be too dark with this camera, so I'm going to turn this light on. You can see I have my powered project board. I have another video about that. I'm using that as one because it's got the plus and minus power supplies that it needs to run this. And then over here I have the original that I was going to be doing and I was hoping to have two meters off this chip, two meters off of the other one, but it looks like I'll have to use um, one power supply per meter so I'll probably end up taking one of these chips and pair of capacitors off. It's the uh, ICL 760. I mean, ICL 7660. And then, um, there's the first two meters volt and amp using the ICL 7107 chips. And, um, there's the bezel. And there's the bare meters. Turn that light off again. Get the bare meters. You can see one of them is a lot dimmer than the other on the displays. So what I want to do is I want to be shorting out two of these diodes. Um, those diodes at the top. You see it makes it the brightness more equal to the um, other displays. See the difference? Barely even see it when I do this. Ooh, it comes to life more. So, um... Bezel makes it show up a lot better, too. So, um... The first one, of course, is the volts. Then if I put a load on it, there'll be a reading for the amps. That's not accurate, though. I'm going to have to set it. I have these tiny little... 40 turn trimmer potentiometers here that I managed to have amongst my parts. I have four of these and they're all being used up on this project. They're 40 turn pots, 10K, which was what was needed from the schematic. So the 40 turns on them, that's just very good for um, making it accurate because that sets how, that, that sets how it is. It'll be set. Be to set the accuracy. I want to be in your so um, it's very special, and I'm hoping everything will be good, and I'll have to work on making the next set of meters, which takes forever to do, because there's so many things to solder, and all this computer ribbon cable, and on the other side of this display board, there's so many connections and all close together, all these places. It just takes forever. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.